In our last video, we talked about the importance of performing a wheel alignment before a calibration and also cleaning cameras and sensors. In this video, we're going to examine the shop environment as a source of calibration trouble. Next on the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. <laughs> When setting up the targets to perform a calibration, look at your shop. Lighting is often a key reason why some camera calibrations are not successful. The lighting to perform a calibration should be even and consistent. Shadows cast across a target can prevent a camera from recognizing a target. Windows and doors and skylights can cause shadows. Look at the area around the targets. If there is a large pile of old parts or equipment behind the target, it could cause contrast issues for the cameras during calibration. The most crucial tip to performing any calibration procedure is to follow the steps or prompts on the calibration system screen to a T. Also, confirm the language in the service information or on the screen. Since ADAS is not standardized, acronyms and component terms are not the same from vehicle to vehicle. A PCR on one vehicle might be a completely different part or procedure on another. If the service information has a glossary, use it. So there you have it. Over this four-part video series on calibration failures, you've learned common reasons for failures and things to do before a calibration to increase your chances of a successful calibration. New calibration solutions are entering the market every day. Therefore, the entire industry will need to do their research and adapt to this new world. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.